Hey, what's going on? It is Josh Hubby. It is time for another Life Lifter. I hope you're living inspired and charged up, and I hope this week is going fantastic so far. Listen, I've got something that, that was hitting home for me the last couple weeks. I've got something that, that pulled me kind of out of a rut with my goals and my ambitions and things that I've been striving for, and hopefully it'll do the same for you. Hopefully, hopefully this challenge, this Life Lifter, will amp you up to the next level with things you're looking to accomplish. Here's, here's what the title is. Here's what the title is. Which one of these are you? Which one of these are you? Are you interested or committed? Let me, let me ask you then. Which one of these are you? Are you interested or are you committed? Now, I want you to think of the two, three, four goals that you have in life right now in any aspect. And I don't know what they are. They're personal to you. It could be uh, business, entrepreneurial business goals that you've got on the table right now that you've been that you've been working on. These are the business goals I've got. It could be school related. Hey, this semester or next semester, I want to get all A's, or I got to make sure I, I you know I get all all A's and B's on this next report card, whatever it is. Or, or it's hey, I got to enlist in these college courses. Or it's, if they're relational goals, you know, with my kids, with my spouse, with my friends, I've got these goals set up relationship wise or maybe their health and fitness and well-being goals that you have established that you say this is where I want to be these are the goals I've set up I don't know what the goals are maybe they're maybe they're educational goals maybe they're getting a promotion at work maybe it's earning more income on the next paycheck maybe they're spiritual goals whatever the goals are I want you to think of them right now because they're in they're they're all independent your your goals are different than my goals but I'm telling you the last couple weeks I've been stuck I've had I've had these goals and I've been interested but I have not been committed. I've been interested. Man, when you're interested in something, you're engaged, you're, you're, you're attracted to something, you're thinking about it all the time, it's got your attention, your mind is focused on it, you've got the dreams, you've got the vision, you're interested in it, but it's all just in here. It's all just in here. You're just thinking about it. Man, I, I want to lose the 20 pounds. I can't wait to lose those 20 pounds. I'm excited. My goal is to lose those 20 pounds. My vision for the next few months is to lose those 20 pounds. I'm thinking about it. I'm interested in it. I'm interested in accomplishing that goal. But the difference is I'm not putting my feet to the pavement. I'm not getting my hands dirty. I'm not taking action and being fully committed. Man, when you're committed to something, you take action. When you're committed to something, you execute a plan. You execute a plan. You make it happen. I'm telling you, this is the difference. This is the difference between people. The majority of people are interested in seeing things changed, are interested in seeing their goals come to fruition. The majority of people are just interested and in just thinking about all the things that they want to accomplish, which is great first step, but the majority of people are not fully committed, are not fully committed in the trenches, making it happen, taking action steps to make it happen. And I'm telling you what we do all the time, right? You get what you put in. You get what you put in. If all you're putting in is this, and you're not putting in the sweat equity and making it happen is never going to come out the other end. Here's what I challenge you with right now. I challenge you, those goals that you thought of, those two, three, four things that, man, this is, this is next on my list. This is what I want to accomplish in the next month, three months, five months. I don't know. Here's what I challenge you with. How long has that been your goal? Man, I want to start this new business. Man, I want that promotion. Man, I want to earn an extra $1,000 next month. Whatever it is, how long... Has that been your goal? And now it's gut check time. Is it because you've just been interested in accomplishing it and not fully committed to taking action? And that's been my struggle the last couple of weeks. I'm going to be honest with you. That's been my struggle. As I've had all these great ideas and all these things that I'm interested in doing, but I haven't fully committed to it and, and put my, my feet on the floor and just started acting on it. So here's the deal. The action plan is different for every single one of us. It's different for every single one of us. My action plan is going to look different than yours, but all you got to do is start. All you've got to do is start. If it's a health and fitness goal, write it down and start today. Write it down and start today. If it's the goal of getting the promotion, stay an extra hour at work. Make sure the boss notices. Make sure the boss notices. Ask the boss. Set up a meeting. How do I get to the next level? I want to work as hard as I can. Do everything I can to get to the next level. If it's educational, get the books and, and the resources and the things you need to gain the knowledge in those areas in order to excel. Whether that's get better grades, whether that's learn your trade, learn your service, whether that's to be the expert of what you do. I don't know what it is, but just get started and be fully committed 
instead of just interested in it. And now when I read this and I watched some videos on this, man, I heard some great insight and read some great insight. And that's what I got it from was some stuff I read a, a, few, a few days ago. And it pulled me out of it. It pulled me out of it. It said, stop just being interested in accomplishing all those great things that you've got in here. And start being fully committed to putting your feet to the pavement and getting your hands dirty and start taking action and making it happen. Hey, continue to live inspired. Thank you guys for checking out these life lifters. Hopefully they give you a little shot of inspiration to keep you charged up and going in the right direction. We'll see you guys next week for another life lifter.